we just do it over and over and over again. And each and every one of you can do it, but you got to believe. On that note, I want to share this call with leaders to talk about this promotion while they're excited and pass it on. So, Kelly, let me turn it back to you. You can take control. You are a co-host, and I'll go in there and see who's on here and just bring everybody up. So over to you, Kelly. Wow, wow. All right, all right, man. We The, the timing is so perfect. I, you know, if, if I had seen Live Good, let's say, it for, for example, if I saw it today, I mean, what would I do instantly today? I had somebody ask me that I would, in, I would, I would go to every single person in my phone. I would create a text message and they'd all get that same message. Go watch the six minute movie right now. A company just launched out of Florida. You don't want to miss this. And, and that's kind of been my message that I did from day one and uh, just made it simple. I, I didn't tell everything in the message, but that's what I would do today. Boom. If I was joining, just go share it with everybody. I don't care about the nose. The nose mean not right now. Um, and, uh, you know, don't think I got to reinvent the wheel because everything is made for us. We didn't have all this at the beginning. We've got it made. I want to go ahead. I see Tracy Walker on there. Yes. <laughs> she died. Surprise, surprise. Uh, yeah, I love, I love, oh man, she got the best smile ever. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, guess what? Tra Tra Tracy's going to share a few words. I see she's, she's excited, right? She's so excited. She, yeah, I see it. I see it. And she's unmuted. So Tracy Walker, I tell you, she is running to Diamond. She does a lot of the corporate training on Friday and just the wisdom. Oh my goodness. We've had her on the, uh, the Kelly Jesse training on the Thursday. Y'all don't miss the trainings, right? Whenever you can get to them, right? Uh, and winners make it happen. But she, she, man, just golden nuggets, right? I just love uh, following her there on social media, seeing how she's marketing. And, and hey, folks, when you see stuff, you know, like and comment and share it. You know, sometimes I know we get busy and everything, but I just love everything that she's doing. And I cannot wait to, uh, to hear her announced as Diamond because uh, she's running for it, running for it hard. I know it. And it's it's going to be worth it, right? Come on, share what you're excited about, Tracy Walker. All right. Well, thank you so much, Kelly, for that amazing and surprise introduction. You guys catch me on a Saturday. Okay. I am a real human. I'm a mother. Okay. Uh, just had some lunch because me and my son just really kind of getting going for the day. Um, he's in there on the game. So if you guys hear an outburst or a scream or something like that's what his him and his nine-year-old crew do on Saturdays when he doesn't have baseball. Um, let me say this. I, you know, Tim, you guys know Tim is my sponsor. And He's moved to Atlanta and he doesn't live too far from me. He only lives about seven miles from me. But the traffic in Atlanta, a seven mile at certain times of the day, certain times of the day that I work from home. So I don't. And when I take my son to school, I'm going opposite traffic. Right. So I avoid a lot of the traffic. But but my wonderful sponsor is like, oh, come by, come by. Right? I'm like, Tim. I am not coming over there in rush hour traffic, okay? And, and so we fight every day, okay? And then when he's done fussing at me about that, then he fusses at me about diamond, right? <laughs> like, well, why, what we gotta do? What we gotta, we gotta get you the diamond, right? And so guys, I, I, I will tell you this. Um, Live Good is such an amazing thing. It, I'm, I'm only like a hundred people away. And like, I've got over the 2,500, but you know, you got to either have three platinums, which I've got two, or you got to have the balance of no more than 500 in, in the legs. And I've got like two legs that are way over 500, right? So I have to have this other leg or other legs collectively. Um, and I have those people that are moving. One of them, Mr. Aaron Rashkin, he's a gold and he's over 300 people in a couple months, right? And so he's he's really almost at platinum. And so um, to be so to share this with you, Kelly, and anybody else who keeps asking me about diving, right? Look, it, it's literally a function of, you know, a few people just bumping up 
Um, and, and more than likely that would create a third platinum as well as balance the legs simultaneously, which is a good thing when you understand structure, it's a good thing. So we're almost there, okay? It's not, it's not far, it's not, right? So I, I you know, I, I, I fuss with Tim about it all the time, okay? So I want you guys to understand that yes, sometimes in business, you can even almost be somewhere, right? You can almost be at your goal. In fact, you can, all, you can almost believe that you should have already achieved the goal which is re really where I sit a lot of times, right? And so I sit here and I, I write notes and I, and I listen to trainings. And when I say listen to trainings, I mean trainings about pushing through a veil, right? Pushing through a barrier. I'm not talking about listening to trainings on, you know, how to do something per se, but more or less, what do I need to be thinking about? And what, how can I be leading? How can I be leading myself as well as others such that they are inspired, Okay, and, and that it's, it's like inspired action. I want you guys to write that down. Inspired action. That is a real thing. It is a real thing. Listen, in business, here's what I know. I know that there's something called discipline, right? Which means that this is something that you're going to do because you've committed to do it, whether you feel like doing it or not. Right. So let let me give an example that might be, hey, I'm going to commit an hour a day, two hours a day to my business, no matter what. Right. Because that's just what you have to do that. If you guys heard me on the call yesterday, that would be like a minimum standard. Right. That's a minimum. standard. like I've got to do at least that. Right. And if I don't do at least that, I'm not even in the game. Like I'm not even I'm not even producing to a level that's sufficient to my own minimum standard. So if I can't even meet my own minimum standard, then how by golly, how am I going to even hit a, a large goal? Right? How am I going to hit a crown diamond goal when you can't even commit to two hours a day to the business? Okay, so so that's the thing. And now, but also within that, within the discipline, there is something called inspired action. And inspired action basically means that. Let me give another example first. I was just reading something on Facebook, literally while, while Tim was talking, it was like a meme. And it was talking, it was just a random thing, but it was talking about the benefits of when people cook. Some of you guys, how many guys cook, right? Like I'm not like a chef, but I do cook. Like I have a child, so I do have to cook, right? So I, I, I do cook. But some of you guys are like, like you guys get in that kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Like you people, oh, they put their foot in it, right? Some of you guys are like that. And they say a lot of times that, um, well, what's in it, right? What did you put in it? Say, like, oh, it was cooked with a lot of what? Love. It was cooked with love. What does that mean? That means you, you have an inspiration. So as you're inspired to cook, as you're inspired to feed others, as you're inspired to provide others with nutritional food and where it tastes good and it, it fills the belly, that's an inspired action of you cooking. And, and, and that energy transfer is the love that goes into it. You guys understand what I'm saying? Like I try to put it in cooking. So, cause you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Well, it's the same thing in business. You gotta have that love into it. So if you are upset or you are angry or you are frustrated, which at times I do get that way. And let me be honest. Sometimes you guys will see me. I'm not on Facebook for a day or two. Why? Because I'm not inspired with love or uh, I'm inspired with love, but not to put out to the world, right? Not to put out to the world because the energy transfer of what I say will go into the, the, the psyches of other people. Just like that food that you cook, you eat food like, oh, this is, I don't, it wasn't nasty, but I feel sick. Why? Because the transfer, okay? So when you are building your business, that inspired action should be present. It should be present. So if you're gonna post something, don't just, this is my opinion, don't just post what somebody else is posting. Do not just do that. You have to have inspired, take what the person posted and how does it inspire you? How can you take it? I'm not talking about a picture, right? Like if you, if you like the picture, you like the picture. But here's the key. The key is what you say in the description of the picture. That's the key. If Kelly makes a post of the, of the contest, right? Everybody seen the, the flyer, right? Now, about $10,000 and the $50,000 and the, the requirements. If Kelly posts that picture of that flyer and then writes a blurb on there, and then if I see the flyer, which I have the flyer, and then I just went and I copied and pasted exactly what Kelly put onto my wall, 
that's Kelly's energy. And your audience is not Kelly's audience. Your audience is your audience. You understand what I'm saying? It's like if you take somebody else's food, it's just, like I know my child likes my certain things. I know that, right? When he goes other places and he eats somebody else's greens, he's, they could be good greens. But in his mind, like, they don't taste like my mama's greens. You guys, I'm talking about, it don't taste like my mama's. It don't taste like my mama's macaroni cheese. It don't taste like mama. You guys know what I'm saying, okay? So if you take her post and you just copy and paste it, you're literally taking her energy, her inspiration, her viewpoint, her perspective, and just slapping it on people that are following you because of you. Because of you. Your, look, I think somebody, Michelle says, yes, because of your flavor. So now if you're going to take Kelly flavor and put it on your wall, they're not, they not going to feel the love because it's not your inspired action. You just copy and paste it. You did not put any thought into it. You did not put your own vibe into it. You didn't put any of that into it. So sometimes I might not post for a day or so because I have to find my muse. Do you understand? You have to find your muse. So I look at everything. It's weird. I look at everything every day for inspiration. Everything every day. Sometimes I pick up my son from school and he just hops in the car. He's so happy. He might have just ran and hit one of the other little boys and jumped in the car so the other little boy couldn't hit him back before he got it right. And it just brings me joy because he gets in the car and he's so excited. I said, how was school today? He said, oh, guess what? I had an extra, he told me the other day, what did he say? He said, oh, I had a surprise bonus candy day. I said, a surprise bonus candy day. And well, long story short, one of his teachers gave him like an extra donut for whatever, right? Whatever the purpose was. And he was just like so happy because it was surprise, it was extra. It was actually, he's like, mom, and I didn't have to, because he has money, his cash app, right? My, I didn't have to pay for it. Mr. Jeff gave it to me. And just the delight on his face and in his energy. I literally sometimes come home and I write down notes because I'm inspired. I don't go on my wall and say, hey, it's bonus extra candy day. That's his story. But I can be inspired by his story and craft it in a way where I can take, how can I cause somebody to feel um, like they had an extra bonus candy day? How can I create that for somebody? And and so all of that to say is that you have to, in this world, okay, especially on social media, you have to figure out what inspires you. And it may be different things at different times on different days. And guess what? Some days you are not going to be inspired. Like we are freaking human beings. You're not going to be inspired. But that lack of inspiration doesn't mean that you don't do anything in your business for the day because the minimum commitment must be fulfilled right so i am doing something in my business every single day but i may not post every single day because that is injecting other people with my energy and if my energy is off why do i want you to feel that Let's say misery love company right like if i not that i'm miserable but because i might feel slightly disgruntled that day or something's going on that day why do i want to go on social media and and portray that to y'all or pretend that i'm not feeling that by you know posting all this happy stuff when i really don't feel happy because the true energy in that is fake and then you're transferring fake and then people don't feel it you guys understand what i am saying so yes it is okay not to post for a day because then when you come back and you post and you post with inspiration you will have people feel you and depending on your your audience and depending on a number of people that engage on a regular basis the numbers of likes or the numbers of comments may vary from person to person i don't want you to get caught in the numbers of likes and comments especially in network marketing and here's i'm going to say this i'm going to close out and the reason why in my experience is because people will see your post and they may or may not engage with the post. But I can't tell you how many times I've had people reach out to me in my inbox 
because they just didn't want to portray to the social media world that they were interested or that they had questions or that they were looking or that they were curious or whatever it is like so you i'm not saying that engagement and numbers don't matter at all i'm saying don't get caught up in it it's still a vanity metric. You could have all the likes and all the comments in the world. And there are tons of Instagram influencers right now that I know cannot or have not monetized their following. They are caught up in the vanity matrix of 100,000 likes and they haven't made one freaking dime from any of it. So be mindful that what you're sharing and what you're posting is from an inspired place because the people who feel the vibe of what you are saying can and will reach out to you whether they like share, comment, whatever the post, the post is there to make an announcement right it's for you to make the announcement but your consistency in making announcements your consistency in making announcements inspired announcements will inspire others who are inspired like you to have a super bonus candy day and those people might reach out to you or just freaking sign up or you know whatever it is that, that they are going to do and so i just want everybody to know that you might be close to your goal like me i've been close to my goal for a few months and it, is it a little frustrating yes <laughs> like if you think i'm not over here like what the hell right it, it's not true i am okay however i also understand the dynamics of what we're doing and i also understand where god has me right now you, you understand what i'm saying like i understand that it's not in a strategy that i'm doing because my strategy works you don't sponsor over 200 people because your strategy doesn't work right you, you do right i understand that there's certain things going on i feel and i'm gonna say this to you guys because i'm just being transparent it's a saturday training right it's not a corporate training and I, I want you guys to get moving with your one person your two people you can get into this drawing um because there's there's a certain thing called patience right there, there's a certain thing called um gratitude there's a certain thing that's called um <clears throat> that's called really I, I don't like the word humble i'm telling you guys i don't has anybody ever looked up the word humble i don't like that word let me I'm, let me look it up really quickly so i can give it to you so you can understand why i don't i don't you won't really hear me use that word um too much and that's because you think you know what humble means right you think humble means like oh i'm just not boastful but that's that's not really that's not really what humble means um humble means three different meanings it has here it says not proud right not arrogant or assertive okay now not arrogant i'm cool with not arrogant but assertive no in business you must be assertive i'm sorry i'm sorry you can take it or leave it you have got to be assertive all right it also says reflecting expressing or offered in a spirit of deference or submission so who, who would I be submitting to other than the most high? I, mean, I don't have to offer anything to anybody on the internet in submission. I don't know. Maybe you feel like that's the right word for you. I'm saying the way Tracy Walker operates, I'm not submitting in business to the people on the internet, you know, by offering something in that way. I'm just not going to do it. And then the last thing, last definition it gives on here, this is Miriam Webster. It says ranking low in a hierarchy or scale insignificant or unpretentious so there's nothing really about the word humble that i truly can connect to i get it you say it because it sounds good say like oh humble like you're not boastful no then just say i'm not boastful but if you truly understand understand if you truly understand the meaning of the word humble i, I am not ranking low in a hierarchy or scale i'm not are you are you ranking low in a hierarchy of scale? No. Um, are you offering your marketing and your advertising in a spirit of deference or sub deference or submission? <laughs> Go ahead. Try to get the crown diamond with your submission and deference. See how well that goes. Does Tim seem like he's uh, deferent or submissive to you? 
I don't think so. Just look at it, okay? And and literally not proud or arrogant. Listen, one thing I know when my son goes on that baseball field, and here's what I know about other people that play sports, okay? Especially male sports, okay? I play sports as a, as a young lady. I played volleyball today, but I look at these male sports because, you know, you go to the, these professional levels and every single coach and every, the hitting coaches, everybody that's around your side is like, listen, playing baseball, you have to have a level of confidence, Right. You got to when you walk to that plate, you got to walk up there with such confidence that you put fear in that pitcher. Right. But the pitcher also should have that confidence to put fear in that batter. So everybody has to be on the field with confidence and, and, and certainty about themselves. Does it mean that you're arrogant? No, it doesn't mean that you're arrogant, but you do need to have a certain level of confidence. And I don't even want to call it cockiness, but you need to be so doggone um, secure in what your abilities are and, and what God has you doing that no man can put asunder. That, that's kind of how you have to walk at this thing. And so where God has me in, in, a, in a place where, okay, I have to understand certain things. I have to understand timing, right? I have to understand, you know, patience a little bit, right? I'm like this. I'm a, part, I'm a like this type of person, right? You got to go, 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 go. And, and so I've had to reflect a lot. And in a lot of different, you know, they say how you do one, anything is how you do everything. There's other areas of my life that are also reflecting this need that I have for patience. I even see it in my son. Like, I'm like, Jay, you got to be patient, right? And I see, I'm like, okay, okay, Lord, I got it, right? And learning how to trust in certain things while still going on while still going on. So still going on with your marketing, still going on with your advertising, still going on with the calls, still going on with your promotions, still going on with talking to people, still going on with dealing with whatever you're dealing with, still going on with work, still going on with your relationship, still going on with your, still going on knowing that it's already there. You know what I'm saying? Like a hundred people? Are you guys kidding me? My, at one point, my team was growing a hundred people per day. A <laughs> hundred people per day. Right. So in my mind, I can't even conceive how we didn't have 100 people this month. I mean, we did, but some people fell off. You guys know how that works. Right. We did. So it's like, OK, I'm going to just stop. I'm going to let it be. OK, so I want you to remember that about yourself. OK, that there's something that you're here to do. All right. And the way that you present yourself, you must be assertive. You must be uh, confident. But also in your actions, you must be inspired. And you, you add all that up and stir it up in a little pot, then people will be happy to join you because you're speaking to them from a place of win-win um, benefit for both parties, not just what they can do for you. Okay. And you're not fabricating stuff. So um, I hope that you guys were able to pull something from that. That was off the top of my head today. I'm just, I'm just trying to give you like what was in my spirit, because that's kind of what it really was. And that you can use it to go get two people today, you know, uh, and that's really all that I can hope for. And, and somebody's going to win 50 grand, somebody's going to win 10 grand. Uh, it's going to be me. I'm sorry. It's going to be me. So y'all see how I did that? Y'all see how I did that assertiveness, that confidence? Y'all see how it went? You see how it went? Okay, so it's gonna be me. I'm sorry. So you guys can just go and get your two people, your 12, your 10, whatever you feel you need to do, but I'm going to win, okay? Now, the challenge is out there. Now, if you're gonna do something, then let's do something, live good, and let's get to a million 